Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you the Idlewild Quilted Ash Guitar that I got from Monoprice. I got it on sale for $200 um, and uh, I wanted to show some of the features associated with the guitar. First of all, it's got uh, what I can, uh, what I assume is a solid top. I'm kind of looking at it. I think it's a solid top. It's pretty thin, but it is solid and uh, it's got what looks like a rosewood fingerboard and it's got binding all around on all sides here's the headstock um, it's a D size so it's a full bodied acoustic it doesn't have a cutaway um, but it's got kind of the full D size dreadnought guitar it's very high gloss um, and it, it looks very nice quilted ash on the top and on the sides. Now I think the sides are probably laminate and then quilted ash on the back. Looks very nice. Very glossy. Um, it has um, a Fishman preamp that I've uh, played with a couple times at an open mic setting. Sounded pretty good. People even commented that it sounded pretty good. And I uh, had a couple people come up say, what is that? I said, well, you know, this is this guitar I'm trying out. Usually I play my Martin guitar and I was trying this out and they thought maybe I'd got myself some boutique guitar, some high-end one. And I said, nope, nope, this is $200 uh, guitar that I bought on Monoprice. So why don't I uh, play it a little bit and see how it sounds. webcam two days so um, I'll, I'll have to try to get this stuff in into the shot here. Uh, one thing I, I notice about uh, the guitar is it's it's a little brighter than most uh, acoustics that I have. Um, it's it is on the bright bright side but it's also uh, fairly loud. <laughs> So um, I think that in terms of value, this is a, a pretty good value, a good workhorse if you're looking for a starter guitar or you're looking for a performing guitar that you don't mind banging up. One thing that uh, I got this for is for taking to uh, gigs or to um, open mics or to uh, settings where I don't necessarily want to take my expensive Martin and uh, risk having to get banged up or, <laughs> or something like that. This one, I don't really care. Um, uh, and it's not that I'm going to abuse it, um, but um, I don't mind uh, if it gets a couple scratches. The other thing that uh, I'm impressed with is the, the coating on it. It has um, a lot of polyurethane, and I think that this guitar will withstand a couple dings and dents better than my Martin that has you know kind of just a more natural coating to it and that seems to be kind of temperamental and, and each time I bring it out I notice a new little thing on it right whereas this one I've played out quite a few times and all I can see so far is um, just kind of the little kind of surface scratches that you get on the back say from your belt or you know just plain rubbing against buttons and that type of, of thing now the preamp it says that it's a, a Pressies preamp. Maybe I'm pronouncing that that wrong, but it's got a um, a uh, a tuner on it, so you can see, right? It's kind of cool. That works pretty well, and it's got uh, a notch fil filter. It's got a phase, um, bass and treble and volume. 
Um, so it's got kind of the uh, basics, and I've ran this uh, two different ways. I ran it direct into, um, you know, like a like a PA, and that 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 sounded fine, you know, with a splash of reverb. And I've ran it through a Fishman loud Loudman or one of those Fishman uh, type um, uh, amplifiers. Um, sounds great through that too. In fact, it probably sounds better through the Fishman and then out through a DI box. Um, I've, I've, I've got a DI um, um, preamp. Maybe I'll show that one of these days um, and show you how that sounds. But I want to play a little bit here before I go. So uh, it works pretty good with, with fingerstyle. I have not changed the strings at all as I tend to do. I'm terrible about that. Never change strings unless they break. In fact, I had uh, the G string break. And before I did this video, I found an old pair of strings that I had saved um, from somewhere from many years ago and put that, that on. Um, that's kind of my thing. I don't really change strings, which is probably the wrong way to to do it. Don't take my my advice, but Hey, this is uh, Mike Kahn music Mike, and uh, this is the idle wild uh, quilted ash guitar can get it on mono price and uh, I think it's pretty good okay thanks <laughs>